Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Mother Teresa once said, in her own words, that the greatest poverty in the world is to die feeling unloved. And I think a lot of us can resonate with that on some level. I know that I can. You know, I spent a lot of my life feeling unloved, feeling like I wasn't significant and I didn't matter and I didn't have a purpose. And one of the things I learned about life is that the thing that we lack most is actually the lesson that we're ready to learn. And for me, the lesson was a lesson of self-love. I was wanting other people to love me all the time and make me feel loved, which means I gave them the power to determine my sense of self-worth and my own sense of significance. And the lessons of life are really interesting the way they show up. There's something called the percolator effect. And if you've ever seen a percolator, when you start boiling the water, there's little bubbles and they eventually percolate and eventually maybe come over. Well, that's how life lessons are. They start out small and gentle. And if we don't learn them, the bubbles get bigger and the lessons become more apparent. Well, for me, the lesson of self-love actually showed up through the lesson of self-responsibility, total self-responsibility. I was getting signals throughout my life that I was on the wrong track. But on September 7th, 2008, everything changed. See, sometimes life delivers lessons loud and hard. And either we get them or we don't. If we don't, they'll come back. If we do, the entire trajectory of our life changes. And that's what happened to me on that day. On September 7th, 2008, I almost died. I was hit in the head by a falling rock while visiting ancient Anasazi ruins. And though a lot of people think that that was bad luck, it was the best luck I've ever had. Because even though I almost died on that day, I actually started living my life. I had to reinvent my entire life from ground zero. And the self-love started during that hike through the desert because during that three miles or so, that several hours covered in blood, concussion, open head injury, not even knowing if I was going in the right direction, I was constantly reevaluating myself. I got to one point in the hike where I was ready to collapse. Actually, I did collapse and I thought my life was ending. And I remember thinking, wow, do I have anybody to go back to? And I felt like I didn't. I felt like, you know, I didn't have a partner. And I just didn't feel like there was any value to my life. And I collapsed to the ground and I was ready to just let go at that moment. And as I was down there, I saw the heat from the sun radiating off the earth. And in that moment, I realized that all of life was connected. I saw the energy from the sun touching the flowers, the earth, the rock, and I saw the big picture. And though not everyone may recognize how all of life is connected, I saw it that day in my own life. And I believed that maybe I wasn't making the connection with others. And that's why I wasn't feeling loved. And so I ended up finding the energy and the resources, whether it's through spirit, God, whatever someone wants to call it, I found it within me. And I was able to complete my hike out and drive 80 miles to the emergency room. The lesson of self-love and self-responsibility was very apparent to me that day. Because even though it took almost five years to recreate my life, on that day, every single step that I took was determining my future, where I was going to end up in life. And I had no idea. All I knew is I couldn't blame anybody for my circumstances. And for the first time in my life, there was no one there to rescue me. I was 100% responsible for my life. And that lesson transfers to everybody in life. We all have rocks in our life. That rock can be abuse. It can be a car accident, a natural disaster, anything. But we decide the meaning of the experiences in our life. And if we want to learn how to love ourselves, we have to take those most painful moments in life, those things that were the most hurtful to us, and transmute them into an opportunity to learn and grow. Because the thing that we lack most is the very thing we're ready to learn. And I was ready to learn self-love, and I was ready to learn self-responsibility. And for all of us, self-responsibility is the pathway to self-love. Thank you.